Cord. Yes. Hello, welcome, welcome viewers. Um, yes, my name is Sunil Nafre, Transformational Life Coach, NLP Practitioner, and Clinical Hypnotherapist. And, and I'm here with my wonderful colleague, Mr. Satish Kumar, who is um, uh, an excellent yoga and meditation teacher. He's going to go through with us in this podcast another breathing technique that we can use uh, to help manage our anxiety and stress levels, particularly as we are still in a lockdown situation. I know in the UK, things are beginning to ease, but still people are getting anxious about easing and getting, getting back into the normal kind of swing of things. But obviously we know that it's gonna be a new normal moving forward. And it's all about helping everybody through podcasts like these, manage those transitions with different techniques and strategies that may, maybe people have never explored before, but it may well be something that could resonate with people, it could work for people. And so we're here really to, to spread awareness and knowledge and, and understanding as well. So without further ado, I'm now going to hand over now to my colleague, Mr. Satish Kumar, um, who is now going to do another uh, demonstration of a breathing technique. Okay, Satish, it's over to yourself, my friend. Uh, good evening, listeners and viewers. Uh, my name is Satish Kumar. Already you know, uh, you knew me very well. I have done a lot of podcasts with Mr. Mr. Sunil. Um, it's a very awesome experience to share with him everything. Uh, today, I'm going to uh, practice a new technique in the breathing exercises. That is Kabbalapati Pranayama. Kabbalapati Pranayama is a very uh, useful technique, especially... Uh, it's good for lungs as well as whole our stomach area. It is very uh, fruitful and it is more uh, helpful to solve many problems of asthma and uh, sinus problem and then constipation. Uh, many uh, issues will be solved by doing that. This Kapalapati Pranayama. Now I am going to uh, say, uh, demonstrate it. Before that, I want to say who do not uh, do this uh, Kapalabhati Pranayama, that is very, very important. Everybody can do it after the age of seven. At the age of seven, anybody can do this Kapalabhati Pranayama. Uh, it's a very useful technique. As well as uh, those who are having high BP, high blood pressure, they will do it after getting consultation with the proper guru, proper uh, yoga teacher, and uh, they will get in front of them they will do it slowly they have to the, those who are getting high blood pressure they do it slowly not doing in a haste as well as uh, second thing those who has who has done the heart surgery or operation like that uh, it is advisable not to, not to do it because it's a uh, exhale part it is very we have to do it in a faster pace and then the third thing, uh, those who are, especially the pregnant women, the pregnant girl, women should not do the, this uh, um, breathing technique because it is more stress will be given to our stomach. So, and then those who have done the hernia operation, uh, it is advised not to, not to do it. After getting proper consultation with your doc doctor, you can do it. Otherwise, everybody can do it. It is a very good one for us to um, train our brain. So, shall we go for it? Yes, let's do it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, that, that will be done by three paces, three uh, steps. Steps mean beginning, uh, cleaning your uh, nose, cleaning your breath. That's the first technique. Second technique, it will do for the beginners. And the third technique it will do for the uh, practiced, the, those who have practiced well, advanced learners, they will do it in the third technique. So normally when you are doing this technique, you must be relaxed, pretty relaxed. Uh, you have to keep your face relaxedly. Don't stress it and uh, do it. And don't uh, give stress to the shoulder. Relax your shoulder only. Only the stomach will work. The stomach will move. You have to give more stress to your stomach. 
not your shoulder or not your face and you must be everything should be relaxed so sir we go for it first first step i'm going to do it is a uh, clean cleaning your nose generally kapalapati what is meant by kapalapati kapalapati mean it's uh, giving a uh, free uh, flow to our forehead blood circulation will go freely it will go smoothly kapala kapala mean forehead head pati mean glowing giving light to the face that's simple uh, clean your brain clean your brain with the, all the dust and everything will be wiped out by doing the kapalapati so let us uh, start with the first technique so sit relaxly sit relaxly and uh, relax your shoulder first step is clean your nose so that while we clean our nose it will prepare for the next level so take your uh, fingers like this and then you have to release the breath in only one breath, one nose only exhale only first you inhale the breath yeah. and then exhale through only one nose i yeah. will do it 10 times you have to do it yeah like this first make a three deep breaths deep breath and relax don't breathe through your mouth so always breathe with your nose only see that so exhale your breath to the uh, your right hand nose only exhale first inhale it and then exhale 10 times through the left nose right nose and then you close your nose release for 10 times through the left hand nose exhale 10 times relax now you can do it by uh, 10 times you can do it by 10 times each nose 10 times 10 times from the uh, your right nose exhale 10 times in the and then your left nose 10 times so we will do it now just we will do it 3 3 times okay we will start third time only you have to use your stomach only exhale through stomach now it's over relax take a little bit relax for 1 minute and then you close your right uh, right nose and the exhale through the left nose in that time you have to uh, exhale through your stomach not from your shoulder not from your nose you have to do it so don't stress anything second time i will show show my stomach how it moves okay
like that your stomach will rotate stomach the all forces will be given to the stomach but you should not stress more you have to do it gentle yeah. okay three times over in the right side three times left this is the cleaning your nose so what happened when you are doing it the the blood circulation in your nose will go smoothly and especially this area this area cause the sinus problem uh, the dust will store in the this area so while you are cleaning your nose with the kapalapati first step it will be clean and the blood circulation will go and to remove all the dust and the antioxidants in your body and uh, you are ready for the uh, that second step second step will be same thing don't use a little bit relaxly and uh, don't use the shoulder don't shake the shoulder you have to uh, do all the work in the stomach the stomach will go smoothly and then the blood circulation will go to the stomach okay so we do it that will be done alternative way that is three times i will do it you just to see that like that this way exhale and then close your nose and exhale through this nose exhale this nose and exhale through this nose like that 20 times you have to do it three uh, times okay wow. 20 times you have to do it and then take a rest and then do it again after one minute like that three times you will do that three into 20 60 times okay now we will do uh, five times or six times now this is a demonstration only okay now do it First time is over. Relax for one minute. And then do it again, second time. Relax. Relax for one minute. And then third time, I will show my stomach how it uh, moves in the third time. Okay, so shall we start? So three times we will do that. Yeah. As long as you are doing, uh, you are practicing a lot, you can do five times also. Yes. 20, 20, 20 into five, 100 times. So this is the second technique. This is also cleaning your lungs and everything. And uh, this is the third step, second step prior to the third step. And then after do the uh, two steps and take a rest for uh, 30 seconds or 60 seconds, relaxly close your eyes and take a rest. And then you will do the third time. It is very important. Exhale through both of your nose. Inhale, it is mostly done only inhale. No inhale, only exhale. No inhale, only exhale. And exhale will be done through the stomach movement. Okay, you should not use the shoulder. Yes. Always use the stomach. It will clean your stomach and giving lot of blood circulation uh, to your stomach. Okay, so we do it. Yes. So you can close your eyes also, open your eyes also, it is your wish. But close your eyes mean your concentration will be, uh, lot of concentration you are getting. It's just like a meditation. Okay, so we do that. Okay, here we go.
first time it's over relax for one minute 60 second you feel lot of blood circulation will run through your face run through your nerves and everything so we will go for the second time So over, second time is over, and third time, relax for 60 seconds, you feel a lot of blood circulation will run through your nerves, your body is getting a lot of heat also, now I will do the third time. Before doing the third time, take a deep breath, relax. And then we will do it the third time. Relax. You feel a lot of blood circulation will fall through your face, especially your whole parts of body, the blood circulation will rush. So relax, relax. You can do meditation also. After completing the Kapalapati, you close your eyes and do the meditation also for one or two minutes. Relax. So we will do meditation for just for two minutes. Close your eyes, concentrate on your forehead. You can open your eyes, relax. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Okay, Mr. Sunil. Okay, How that's amazing. My goodness, I've never done those breathing techniques before, but I can. I felt an instant calm. Uh, you know, a feeling of very, very, feeling very, very calm having done those uh, breathing exercises in that order, uh, I'd never really thought about using my stomach to help my breathing or just exhaling, you know. I, I've never thought about that, but it, it's left me feeling very light and, you know, less anxious, less stressed about things and quite relaxed. Yeah, and it has a lot of benefits. What are the benefits of uh, this Kapalapati? First, it will clean your uh, the noses and then those who are suffering from asthma, isnopolia and uh, running nose, it will be cured. Wow, brilliant. Are suffering from isnopolia. I told you the dust will store in your this area, China, China, China's problem, it will be cured automatically. And also uh, the beauty of Kapalabadi, it will make your face glow mm. your face will become glow it will bring wow. because blood circulation will go to your facial nerves yeah. so the nerves going automatically no need to go to beauty parlor or do something <laughs> your face will get the natural glow Fantastic. and then um, clean your brain also 
and also it will increase your memory power and uh, even the rheumatis or something the parkinson so a lot of diseases will be cured and increase the memory power and you will not forget everything and then then you it will increase your um what do you call a productivity in your work wow. and also will create a lot of peaceful you will get a lot of peace in your heart yeah cuz i felt the that anxiety will, be, anxiety will be reduced yes yes i mean that peaceful it's amazing that how amazing the human body is there's lots of there's lots of things that we can do to actually help our body uh not, you know like you said to have a natural glow because of the the of the of the circulation motion going through your face is very powerful yeah. i would i would like to ask one question after doing uh, this how do you feel in your face um the face feels a bit warm your face yeah it, it feels a bit warm actually a bit because i've been working uh, yeah your face will get warm and hot yeah because the blood circulation will go to your uh, face and brain yeah so yeah. that you will feel warmth in your face and uh, it will automatically it will glow yeah yeah i mean it's it's definitely something that i mean for for me um you know when i was observing you going through the different techniques obviously people will obviously have to bear in mind that they 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 would just need to feel comfortable you know you know the space they choose to use these techniques they've got to feel comfortable that obviously somebody watching on the outside might think that's a bit bizarre that's a bit strange you know putting your hand here and that and then you know moving your belly and things like that but then again you know i i was copying you and i never done done these things before and actually it's been really helpful but also the viewers would just have to be aware that they obviously will you know if they're very self conscious people then to be aware of where they are when they're doing the breathing it may it may seem a bit you know like if somebody wants to do that in the train and there's a lot of people there it may seem a bit strange a bit odd would you agree with that even though there are huge benefits huge huge benefits because i felt them and you know gain a lot of benefit from 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 watching yourself and and doing it myself but um i think people just need to be aware that it may it may look a bit strange a bit bizarre but you just need to be aware of the environment in which you practice these techniques so you feel comfortable um but you know maybe do you would you say um sadish maybe incorporate it as part of a meditation routine that to do meditation yeah. breathing would you recommend the breathing first and then meditate sure are there any 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 guidelines there i uh, let me finish it uh, some other uh, very good benefits from tapalapadi very important benefit yeah After, uh, i will continue with that what you ask me the question i will answer the question yeah That's yeah most important benefit from this kapalapadi yeah. is it will a uh, lot of blood circulation will go to your stomach yeah so it will uh, more helpful to your lungs liver yeah and spleen and uh, all the part of your stomach the blood circulation will go smoothly and yeah. it uh, like massaging your stomach yeah it will massage your stomach so the constipation will be cured right okay so that can be really very helpful those who are suffering from constipation it will be cured yeah and also the blood circulation will go through all the parts of your stomach so yeah actually lot of problem in your especially the it will uh, give you very good digestion mm wow suffering from digestion problem they will get very good digestion because of the blood circulation will go through your stomach and clean your stomach so the constipation problem will be solved and then the uh, what do you call us the indigestion problem will be cured and then whatever problem in your stomach will be cured only one thing those who did the operation in the stomach they should not do it yes after uh, uh, yes proper advice from doctor those who did the hernia operation they should not do it yeah and yeah. then pregnant women they should not do it yeah no i think it's worth well pointing that out really um uh maybe when we do future dem demonstrations we could probably just point those things out right in the beginning but that's still really useful information for the viewers to take on board as well and one but, more thing i want to say to you yeah. for example 
you are taking food intake some people they, they often they take their lunch or dinner something after that uh, while they go for walking they feel the stomach will be uh, what you call is getting lot of uh, uh, in they feel uncomfortable mm. with the stomach mm. it get bulgy and uh, they not able to walk mm. they feel, uh, uncomfortable for going for walking mm. difficult for them to move they mm. feel very uh, uh, uncomfortable after taking food they are not able to go for walking after walking also they feel uh, uncomfortable in their stomach mm. that is because of the acidity mm. acidity yeah. problems yeah. and then uh, the some problems in the stomach everything or uh, even acidity problem will be cured mm. and cure the acidity problem and ulcer also if you are yeah. doing that you see but ulcer you should be done if you take a proper food at the proper time but at least it will help to cure ulcer in a uh, faster pace mm. Mm. the acidity problem will be cured and uh, those who, they feel the stomach will be weightless most of them after doing the kapalapadi they feel the stomach will be weightless mm. so they can really they can move here and there they can go anywhere their movements will be more flexible yeah. so there is flexible in their body the organism they are very flexible going here and there they are doing lot of work without uh, getting anything distracted and yeah. then you ask me a question that before doing the meditation first do the breathing technique the kapalapati breathing technique and then kapalapati and then you go for the omkar already i told that that this uh, the honey bee yes the honey bee one yeah yeah honey bee meditation and then you go for the omkar it will take 5 to 10 minutes definitely what i am saying to you the kapalapati breathing omkar and honey bee it will take 10 minutes after that automatically when you go for meditation you can get lot of concentration mm hey you uh, your mind will be under peace and e- easily your mind will not flying here and there so you always concentrate very easily for 10 minutes after you open your eyes it will take 20 minutes wow that's amazing that's really doing amazing. the first this set the entire day will be a beautiful day I'm just, wondering, I'm just wondering whether te- teachers should try to get their students to do some breathing techniques before they start teaching the students. <laughs> That might yeah, be especially in yeah. that state and maybe they can have better focus, better concentration and things like that. Hmm. Yeah. Especially that. uh, that's why in many places uh, even in the factories uh in Japan I hear that they are doing um, meditation yoga for 10 or 15 yeah. minutes yeah. and Before then go to the factory and their productivity will be increased mm. yeah in the school also in the teachers um, will do oh, I, i want to say one uh, ex- my experience my previous school i was working in india that school name is shanti aesthetic school ahmedabad in gujarat area every day morning they have prayer they have assembly every day morning between um, 8:30 to 9 o'clock mm. every day in the prayer they will do the first omkar yes omkar and then they will do the breathing technique and then they will do the meditation for 5 minutes and before and then they continue their assembly at least 10 minutes they allotted for the a uh, omkar breathing technique and honey bee everything they use it for 10 minutes one yoga teacher also there in the school she will guide the students through the yoga and the prayer for 10 minutes and then they continue the assembly completed so the students will be peaceful they feel peace their mind will be under control so when they enter into the classroom they reduce it reduce their naughtiness and they sit in the class silently and observe the teachers How uh, interesting. Like, hmm. Honestly, because I'm, you know, I, I'm involved in training lots of teachers in the UK who work in colleges. And I'm just wondering, because some of them do complain about the behavior of some of their students in the class. So I'm just wondering whether doing some breathing techniques just at the start might help to get everybody on board and on point with what they need to do in the classroom. But yeah, 
really fascinating. It's, I'm just so amazed at your knowledge and your experience in this area. And, you know, like things that I never thought about, um, like, you know, using the nose for helping one's breathing or using the stomach area. I've never really thought about it, but I'm definitely going to try this uh, myself, you know, for me, you know, as a person wanting to gain a certain state, wanting to, you know, feel uh, that I'm able to achieve whatever I want to set out to achieve. But obviously, I need to be balanced in my mind, body, soul and spirit for me to start thinking of doing things and planning things and things of that nature. Thank you so much, um, um, Sadish. That takes us really towards the end of our podcast. It's an amazing, amazing podcast. Um, I've learned so much and I hope the viewers have found it helpful as well. So if anybody wants to find out more information about the breathing techniques used by Satish, then please do get in touch. Um, we've got the comments uh, box below that you can obviously put your comments. You can directly get in touch with myself or with Satish. So we've, we've left our contact details in the actual um, description box. So please do get in touch. But in the meantime, um, we will look forward to meeting again, Satish, for our next segment. And uh, yeah. so take care. And thank you, viewers. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.